Welcome to Black History Month of 2023. This year we're paying homage to great actors and activists such as Mrs. Fannie Lou Hamer. All the way down to Greensboro, North Carolina with the Greensboro Four who bravely sat at the lunch counter. To the beautiful voice and spirit that he was of Minister Malcolm X, all the way down to those courageous writings written by Mrs. Ida B. Wells Barnett and to those brave little children who marched in Birmingham, Alabama. Ladies and gentlemen, this year we are going to pay homage to all the brave activists of the movement, the heroes and the sheroes, because this year we celebrate what is Black history. Ladies and gentlemen, come with me on a journey as we celebrate all month long. Stay tuned, ladies and gentlemen, for this video. Shirley Chisholm. Shirley Chisholm was born in Brooklyn, New York on November 30th, 1924. Chisholm was the oldest of four daughters. And as she continued to thrive throughout her education, one of the things that she set her eyes on was joining Congress. In 1964, Chisholm ran for and became the second African-American woman in the New York State Legislature. In 1977, she will become the first black woman and second woman ever to serve on the powerful House Rules Committee. But let's not forget to mention that Miss Shirley Chisholm worked so hard and became the first African-American woman in Congress in 1968. But more importantly, this phenomenal woman had the strength and the courage facing down death threats, facing down the hatred and bigotry, and facing down every man that tried to stand in her way and decided that she was going to become the first woman, an African-American woman as well, to seek the nomination for president of the United States in one of the two major political parties in 1972. Even with Miss Chislam having said this, you don't make progress by standing on the sidelines, whimpering and complaining. You make progress by implementing ideas. Shirley Chisholm. Her motto and title of her autobiography, Unbought and Unboss, illustrates just how outspoken she was and the phenomenal woman that she definitely stood to be. So tonight, my dear sister, Miss Shirley Chisholm, tonight Instead of watching a we are game you. on television while young people beg for the attention of their president concerning our actions abroad, I would encourage them to speak out, organize for peaceful change, and vote in November. Instead of blocking efforts to control the huge amounts of money given political candidates by the rich and the powerful, I would provide certain limits on such amounts and encourage all the people of this nation to contribute small sums to the candidates of their choice. Instead of calculating the political costs of this or that policy and of weighing favors of this or that group, depending on whether that group voted for me in 1968, I would remind all Americans at this hour of the words of Abraham Lincoln, a house divided cannot stand. Hey everybody, it's your girl Kyra here and I am trying to put together my film called Let Us Say Grace. If you would like to show your support, please just donate to the GoFundMe link down there in the subscription box. I hope you all will continue to watch this Black History Month. You all remember what I always say, remember to stay up and to stay blessed. Thank you for all your support.